right, this time the quick speed shop. Check out, man, behind me. The trusts are up on the Vintage Gas Station. We're gonna start, and I'm gonna show you how we did it right now. I'm a professional, don't try this at home. Bam, look at that. We got the trusses up on the gas station. Uh, last night, my friends uh, Jordan and Eric came over. We threw them all up on. So let me cut back to the day before. It's really nice to say it's really hot. It's like 90 degrees with the winds blowing like 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour. So I'm having a heck of a time up here trying to hold boards by myself now and work on it. But let's go back uh, till yesterday and we'll get them trusses set up there. Okay, the first step to uh, putting the headers, there, the uh, trusses up is I nailed these pieces of two by six to the header here. And you see I've got marked on here where the trusses are gonna go. Oh, it's windy. And they're gonna nail into the side of this. This will help support it kind of like over here. And I've put them down on this lower level as well. So the trusses will, will nail into these wood pieces instead of just toenailing into the header. And I'm also gonna use some hurricane brackets down here just for extra security. But it's gonna make it really easy to flop these up and get them against here. Actually, on this side, get them against here and put a screw in them to hold them. Then I'll nail them fast once everything's all jigged up. Hopefully, it's not too windy out here. Man, it's really picking up, but it's a nice day. My friends uh, should be here in a minute, and we'll get these trusses over here. Kirk over there, we'll get them out, and we'll... Kirk, Kirk, Kirk. I'll put you on the time lapse, and we'll get the thing... Uh, get the roof stood up on this thing, hopefully without any issues. All right, bam, so my crew's arrived. So I'm going to turn on the, uh, go on the uh, fast... What do you call fast motion here? We'll start dragging these trusses up. I got a camera up there in the corner on the bird's nest so you get a view from up there and we'll go ahead and we'll put these on here. Right, bam there we go got all the trusses up we're gonna run the string line down the end of the tail here and trim any of those that need to be trimmed it's the ones out like just like an eighth inch and i got a 20 foot two by six we're gonna all the way down put on the uh, tails there 
tie them together, but this thing is awesome. I'll get the ladder, I'll get the uh, camera out and I'll show you around up there in a minute when we get done monkeying around. But it's looking great. Not bad. I Not can, bad. I'm pretty good shape on everything. All right, bam, I gotta thank my friends, uh, Jordan and Eric. They came over and they helped me uh, put all the trusses up that worked great. They're both uh, in the construction business and carpentry business, so they knew what they were doing, climbing up on there and walking around, screwing them down, and we got the thing uh, uh, mounted up here good. I've just been nailing off, because we just put a couple screws in to hold them all upright. I've been nailing off everything, so let's take a look. Put the rear uh, fascia boards on, two by sixes. I left them long. Um, I'm gonna be making a one foot overhang on the roof that I gotta frame up, but I'm gonna put all the purlins across the top and let them all hang over. And then I can mount my boards up and then nail back and build the uh, the overhang in place. But it looks awesome. The sun's going down here when the twilight. How does it look? I think it came out looking great. It's really how I uh, envisioned it, pretty much. And uh, yeah, now once I get the porch put off the front, that's going to be the next thing after I get this all in. I'm going to put all my purlins up on the top. I get some girt boards around, burn up this uh, lumber pile over here, and then I can go to the front, drill my posts for the porch, and get that done. The, all the 2x6s for the porch are under here. All, all these 2x4s are for all the girts and the purlins. And then, uh, yeah, pretty much use all this up. Here comes the wind again, man. Look at that sunset. That's perfect. Got amber whites waves of grain here. Look at that. Damn. This is perfect building weather right now. It's like, I don't know, 78 degrees, a little bit of breeze. It's perfect out. This is awesome. But up front here, you can see the tails. So the uh, porch is going to hook onto this front 2x10 and come down. And then that blinked off flat portion up front is going to be, I'm going to be able to mount a sign, say like gas and go or, uh, you know, service station or something like that put up a sign up on top of there but I've got to uh, these are all tied up and and braced that board going across the top is holding these all right now but when I put the purlins on tomorrow I can uh, it'll brace all this up and then I can build however I'm going to stick or build the front of this uh, probably two by fours in between or something like that to do the front wall and this is going to get antique uh, board and batten up onto it here all right, so it's going to be a little windy on the microphone. Sorry about that, but I'm out here with my life in my hands up on the ladder. Uh, it's the next day. I've got the 2x6 across for the upper ridge board. i got it hanging over an inch and a half. Uh, my front board barn is going to be about an inch uh, wide, so it'll give me a little bit of extra action. Now I'm going to start working on the rear of this. If you can see, if you can see it, probably. I've got just a little bit of bow to the center of these trusses, the way they laid. Um, on the ground and they got a little bit of bow to them. So I'm gonna hook up a strap and I come along and go kitty corner here to the building. I'm just gonna tug right between the two posts there and tug it and pull that first one straight. Then when I put my purlins across the top, it'll lock them all in. I can use the measurements and lock them all in straight from there. So I'm gonna hook that up and go up and work on that. I'm probably not gonna do a ton of uh, like live filming right now because I said this wind's like 40 miles an hour. You're just gonna get a ton of wind noise on the microphone. So I'll pop in periodically when I'm doing this, but I'm gonna hook up the strap and pull it. And then I get some pearl ends on, I'll come back and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I rigged up a strap and I used my, one of my ratchet straps for my trailer to pull just a little bit of tension on this roof uh, rafter or, uh, roof truss here. And I sucked it over where it's gotta be. Now I've added a brace. I was able to measure my two foot distance over, so I added a brace on either side of here and I've got all these sucked um, two foot on center all the way through. When I go back here, I can see the, the, the board is, that's screwed across the middle. It's just out just a hair up there, so I can move the strap up, tug on that and see if that'll push them all in line. And then if it should hold them in there, that'd be good. And then I'm gonna start working my uh, purlins up along the way. I've already got the first one spaced out here. And then uh, I just had to get those, those rafters trued up in the beginning first. So I'm gonna give that just a little bit of tug. And straighten that out and go ahead but this wind is still killing me stupid ladders are blowing over and everything it's freaking killing me out here okay it's still windy in here but i got my trusses all straightened out by using the strap here the ratchet and then i went across and i put boards across here where the some of the uprights are and i tied it in sucked it around i'm just holding a little bit of tension until i get some more uh purlins on top but i got everything all braced here and I just another set of bracing across here. That's all tied in. Now we'll go up top. I'll show you what I'm working on up here.
up here I'm getting the purlins going for the metal roof. I went and I started out with a 2x6 because uh, uh, it's a little stronger in the way that I lay the screws back a couple inches. I like to put two screws at the bottom of the roof. So got 2x6 for that and I made just uh, cut some pieces of 2x4. Like I got one here at 20 and a half so I could space these out two foot on center. I just been running them up on. I go ahead and I start one and I space it with a board a couple spaces get it tacked down and then I add another one then I jump back and I go back down so I've just got to clean these two tails up I left them long off the end they're about two foot long there I'll probably end up with like I, I thought I was gonna just do it in a uh, one foot overhang I might extend it out to like 18 inches just because these boards are all long anyway so I just got to cut a little bit so I might go 18 and I uh, give it just a little bit more overhang off there with a metal roof when I'm working my way up with the purlins, I'm just going to keep going all the way up to the top. And then I got a 2x6 up top there with an inch and a half, I think I told you, inch and a half uh, proud sticking out past the side. And that'll allow the, the board and batten to come up to the bottom of it and I can run my trim detail around. I'm just kind of whoop, working my purlins up and it's uh, slow going. Still windy as balls out, but it's, it's a nice day. Well, the wind finally stopped blowing. The sun's going down. Look at that sunset that's awesome over there over the hill. And I didn't get all the way up yet. Um, let's see, probably one, two, three uh, rows from the top. Ugh. These are the temporary boards we put in when we put the trusses up. I got to pull them off and uh, move them up to my actual dimension. But probably two, four, yeah, probably three more sets and I'll be done. But it's looking good. Let me go down on the ground and look from the back side. Man, that looks mint up there. You can see that's a lot of work. But it uh, looks super straight. Looks super good. It's going to be a good way to mount my metal down. I like carpentry work. It's just, uh, if you're building something this big, which isn't really that big, but building something like this by yourself, it's a ton of work because you're up and down the ladder, up and down the ladder, in the lumber pile, on the saw, up the ladder, down the ladder. A ah, 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 whole bunch of that all day. So I'm wore out. All right, bam, there we go. The purlins are all done. Let me get up here. Look at that, all the way down. So the metal is gonna be, I didn't measure it yet, but it's gonna be probably about 27 feet long. And I thought about doing it in one sheet, but with the wind and stuff out here, I really struggled to put the 18 footers on the, the barn over there. So I can imagine that's something that's another uh, almost 10 feet longer is going to be a real fight. So I'm going to have to break this roof up into half and put the lower section on and then the upper section have it like a one foot overlap or something like that. So I'll probably do it in, uh, say it's this 26, probably like 14 and, and uh, 12 or something like that, plus the overhang and make it go all the way up. But this looks good and I've got some bracing in here. I'll show you from down below. Um, I got diagonal braces going off to the corners of the roof. I got diagonal braces down the front. Got some braces across the bottom down in here, like they say, and I've got to add a diagonal brace this way, then a diagonal brace that way up on the uh, the lower cords of the trusses. So I've been slowly working on that. I did some other bracing down on the walls, I'll show you. But the roof is bam, all done. A lot of hammering and screwing, but it's up here and the building's nice and, uh, nice and strong. It's be a perfect foundation for the metal roof. I'm just going to, not in this video, but I'm going to build my uh, soffit pieces later, probably about 18 inches, and uh, figure out when I do my metal ordering. But for now, I'll just leave all those tails hanging over there like that. <clears throat> talking about talking about bracing, I've got diagonal braces in the back walls built from the header down, pushed on each other, so the back of the building can't go straight. That's just a temporary one there. But the corners the wind load all comes across this field, so this will be fine for the corners. But because there's no, uh, just this whole wall is wide open on this side, I'm doing extra bracing on this wall. I made a uh, brace that comes down post to post and pushes under the header. So that'll take most of the weight. So I also made a diagonal, I've turned it into a diagonal. And when I put the girts across, it'll tie into it and make it really strong. And then I've made a triangle out of the center post. And then when I get to the front here, I'll probably do another X. In that and that'll really put a lot of strength in this side of the building and I'm still thinking about how I can get up in here maybe do a little bracing off the door header up up a little bit it's not very not very much well try to brace that the best I can to get the wind load off but it 
you know, with the roof sloped up this way, it should, it shouldn't, there's not a lot of vertical wall here to push on. So it shouldn't have a lot of wind on it. Um, I haven't had any problem with that building there, but that's got a lot more wall structure to, in the, in the, it's not wide open like this. That looks super awesome from back here. It's really nice and true all the way up. So I'll, I'll load the metal from this side and I'll go right up on it and I'll put it up on there, but it's going to look fantastic and, and uh, really happy with the way it came out. A lot of hammering and screwing though. I had to go ran out of nails this morning. I had to go buy some more nails. So that about does it for putting the roof on for now. Thanks uh, once again to Jordan and Eric for helping out. And then I'm just going to keep tinkering on it, putting all the rest of my braces in. And uh, next time I think we'll, I'll have it all braced and I'll be able to start on the front on the gas station office itself, which is only about two, two and a half feet deep. And then start the post for the overhang for the pump island and all that. So we'll be, be out front on the building, starting to build off that. But I'm going to finish this thing up and then uh, hopefully soon we'll be able to get the metal ordered. I'll get that going, get the roofs on, get the front porch on. Then I can find some uh, board and batten hemlock to side the whole thing in and the thing will start looking like something. i got you know a few more videos coming up on this thing here right along. And in the meantime, we'll have a little bit of car stuff mixed in between. But I'm out here on the sunshine and hammering, so I've got to stay focused on this thing. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.